Yes. I'm Co-Pastor Darrell Johnson. I'm Pastor Brian Johnson. And we want to say welcome to our program on today. And our motto is... The architecture design for marriage is made in heaven, but, but the, the work, work is, is done, done right, right here. here. See you in a few. See you in a minute. Tonight, I'm coming before you to talk about romance, but I want my wife to know about it. Fellas, I want to sit back, get your pen in your pants, and take some notes, because I am the king of romance. See you in a few. Hey, y'all. Let me... Shh. 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 Listen. 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 Tonight, we're talking about or being romantic, about romance and all that stuff. Honestly... Brian, every time we do something romantic, it's because I had to plan it. But he just thinks he's the master, y'all. So I'm so excited to hear what he's going to talk about tonight about being romantic. Y'all hang in there with me, okay? All right. Shh. He's coming back. Hello, y'all. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back to the broadcast. Yes, the bountiful, blessed marriage. Yes. yes. And tonight we're going to talk about... Roma being romantic, yes, y'all. Yes. I, I, I love, I love, this is my favorite thing. Just being romantic. What about yours? I love romancing you, honey. You do? Yes, I do. Oh, yes, oh. Well, you know what? Because I saw on Facebook the other day, and it was this, this picture in the, uh, this, the, of uh, uh, Tim out in their backyard, and the husband had set up like this uh, cover on the ground. He had candles around it. Had a little food. I think it was like chicken and chips or something like that. True. But to me, it was really romantic. But they said, would you like something like this? Would you be appreciative if your husband did something like this or your spouse did something like this for you? And I was like, I would love it. What do you think about that? I think it would be awesome. Really? Absolutely. absolutely. Oh, okay. With that being said, okay. then oh. I have to let the fellas know out there, you have to, once again, it goes back to doing what? Studying your spouse, knowing your spouse, because see, I know I can go outside and put the blanket on the ground and put the food out and all these type of things and, and be romantic in that way with her. And I know she would love just the, the, the gesture of it, but the bottom line is she's not gonna go out there sitting on blanket outside because she's not an outdoors person. Yeah, so that's true. I would but have if to you do did. Just the if you did it though, I would go out there. You, cause you know you bought some uh, skin so soft. Yes, absolutely. Skin so soft, you and know. You never used it. Cause I ain't had to go outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so no, I didn't have it. Thank you, Latoya Burns, though, my representative. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't used it because I haven't been outside. Okay, you know? okay, but I think it would be better if I got you at the house, send you on a shopping spree. But that's not with you, though. And you come home while you're on a shopping spree and have the dining room table laid out. Oh. Beautiful tablecloth. Ooh. Candle lights. Wow. Catered seafood boil. Ooh. Waiting for you. Wow. Glass of ice cold ginger ale. Ooh. <laughs> well, look. I think that would be more to your liking. That would, yeah, but you know what? One thing that you always teach is knowing is doing. Doing. No, okay. Doing. Okay. okay. <laughs> knowing is doing. So what are you trying to say? No, now? I, I, okay. I think he, I think he's. I, Tell the truth. I am. We will. We will. A live broadcast. I am. Tell I, the truth. I think you know. <laughs> I think you. I, I think you really try. I really do. I really do. But it always ends up with what do you want to do? If I if I tell you what I want to do, then I plan the day. That's 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 true. Sometimes, a lot of times, but every once in a while, I do come through, and I come through pretty big. Yeah, tell us how you came through. This time, oh, she knows. She don't want to hear that. So this 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 floors every time, and this will probably floor you as well. What? Listen, 
we had been married 24 oh, years. Oh, he's right. He's right. And then we were coming upon our 25th yes. year wedding anniversary. Oh. And guess what I did? Mr. Romance himself. I planned with the help of a great friend and our family our 25th wedding renewal. Yes. Vow renewal. You did. Okay. And guess what? And we planned it from the beginning to the end. Having the, the bridesmaids in place. He did. The, the groomsmen in place. He did. The flower girl in place. Yes. The ring bearer in place. Oh my God. All the, the musicians and everything in place. The songs in place. He did. And, and guess what? I even had her dress in place. He did. A wedding dress. Oh. I feel so I had ashamed. Perfect size. Yes. Had the shoes to match. Yes. Now, you now I have to go back, like, like I said earlier, I did this with the help of a great friend and our family. My great, our great friend really helped, helped me coordinate everything. And, uh, but guess what? Caught her totally by surprise. It did. Totally. And you know, it was so, we was, they, they told me was having something at the church, right? Yes. So I get to the church and I'm, I'm going down to the bathroom. And when I go down to the bathroom, I see my sister. Uh, Romania and and somebody else in the bathroom half dressed and my mom was like oh my god no don't this is not tell me you're, you're, you know and she looked at me she said eh. I guess she knew what my mom was going like no why y'all have dressed together y'all ladies you know and she's like it's your surprise wedding oh my gosh I was like and when I tell you oh you are great at planning stuff even though that was the last big one, that that at that now, mind you, now we've been married now how many years? Almost forty. Almost forty, 40 years. Forty this month. Forty this month. August. Yeah. Au August. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, dang. August. August, right? You know what? I planned our vacation. We're going on vacation to Myrtle Beach. Yes. Now. Yes. And I would like to say I planned it for our anniversary. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I didn't. She didn't. It just happened to fall that way. But anyway, the but, wedding but thing, y'all. But I was going to surprise her and do something special while we were away because I knew our boot, we call our bootleg anniversary is coming up August 19th. Yeah, and it's our bootleg wedding. We call it the bootleg uh, anniversary because if you saw some previous broadcast, you heard us talk about the fact that uh, we eloped initially. Yeah. And my father-in-law, may he rest in heaven, did not know about it, okay? And, and he, he wasn't going to find out. He never found out about it. He was not going to find out. He was not going to find out about that. But that was our bootleg anniversary book. August the 19th. It needs to say that, that we uh, told our, my mom, mother-in-law, and she, you know, got the wheels rolling and, and, and planned an elaborate wedding for us, you know. And uh, so we had a uh, the, the church wedding with the full ceremony and everything, you know. And uh, my father-in-law, he knew about that one, of course. He, he, he paid, he paid the bill. <laughs> Absolutely. But the bootleg one, he didn't know. We called our bootleg wedding. Our bootleg wedding. Our bootleg anniversary. But he bootleg did. Wedding. Yeah, he, this yeah. man, he had, and then he had a reception. When I got to the reception at the surprise wedding, he had a bad suit, a suit for me. When he took me to the bathroom yes. and put me on this suit, that it was bad, man. I'm telling you. He did it up. I did it up. Oh, he did it up. And you know what? I think that that thing took all the juices that he had in him. I'm oh, good every 25 years. Uh, uh, it took you got every, another coming up soon. You got another, you're right. It took every juice, every ounce of romance that, that he had in it. It just sucked it up in that big one because it was major. It was major. It, it was, was major, major y'all. Absolutely. But you know, romance is so important. Yes, yes, it it's is. It's so important in the marriage, you yes, know? Yes, it it keeps the fires kindling, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. It keeps, it just, it just keeps me happy. Yes. It keeps me happy. Yes. And even though I joke and I, man, he really don't play and stuff, y'all. I mean, you do, yes, you do, baby. I try. I try. I put for something effort. You know, he, 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 and, and so, but the thing, the, the little things that he, that he, I can say right now, y'all, this is romantic to me. I can say right now to you all, you know what? I got a taste for, uh, quesadillas mm -hmm. and never think about it again. That's right. We'll leave out, riding around, like, where you going? You remember earlier today you asked for a quesadilla? Yeah, absolutely. And you know, he does that. If I can say something and forget about it. 
Yes. He remembers every single thing that I say. Yeah, that's right. Yes. Sir. Yeah, and, and he yes. just yes. and he gets it. He does it. You know. Yes. And I know people say, "Well, it's not romantic." To me, it is. It is. It is. It's, it is romantic. Well, thank you. It's romantic. I mean, you could go higher, but I like. That's what I like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Tell me what you like. You're a man. Tell me what you think romance is. What I think. Romance what you think? Is? Be romantic. What do you? What would? What is your your dream? A romantic thing for me to do for you, just for you, baby. Well, I think uh, basically, as as a man, I think we don't really look to be romantic. Oh come on, by, bro! By Tell me, I know, but uh, just if you had the dream, drink clean, dream romantic, <laughs> romantic thing. I'll just say that you, <laughs> you, you might be opening up the door, so you don't want to discuss it. No, 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 no I'm, 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 I'm an alpha male, y'all. I'm an alpha male. <laughs> <laughs> Romance me means hey, <laughs> wind down. <laughs> Bring it on in, bring it on in. Bring it on in. Bring it in, bring it in, bring it in. <laughs> but okay, tell me, I mean, to lead up to that, what what would be the just the perfect romantic thing for me to do? Well, that probably be to. I mean, I know that I've probably already done it, so yeah, she so, did, she did. And what and what she done? Uh, uh, it, it, I think I can't remember the exact year. I should remember, but. I think it was one of my birthdays, uh, oh. and uh, she really surprised me uh, and, and set up an elaborate birthday party for me in celebration. And she flew my family in, you know, and and got and, and, and got, got past me with that, you know, flew my sister in, uh, my my nephews, you know, they all came in. She flew them in for the special brother. occasion, my brother, you know. So it was just an awesome, awesome, uh, mind blowing occasion for me, you know, because. Uh, at that time, I hadn't seen him for quite a few years, so it was just an awesome, awesome uh, surprise, you know. So to me, that was extremely romantic. So things like that, you know, that, that, that I know if, if she has the opportunity to do that, you know, she's going to always do things like that for me. I don't look for it, don't expect it, but I know she has the opportunity to do so. I know she will, you know, because uh, I know she loves me so. And let me tell you this as well. Something else that I, that I think I just thought about. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That this what she done done was extremely, extremely romantic uh, to me, you know. And y'all might not think it's romantic. Y'all might thought, well, man, that wasn't romantic. She was crazy, you know. It was another year uh, uh, for of, of celebrating my birthday, you know. Uh, we wasn't quite where we were, uh, where we are now financially. We were kind of struggling, you know. I was working in the shipyard, and you know, and and and, and basically just making ends meet, so to speak. You know, we've heard that expression before. And it was my birthday, and I took the vehicle. I had one vehicle at that time. I took the vehicle to go to work that day, and guess what she did? Man, she got my, my boys, and they went and walked from where we stayed at that time to Kmart to get me a birthday gift. Now, I'm telling you, that walk was approximately probably about four and a half to five miles. Might have been maybe four, between four and seven miles. It was a good little walk from where we stayed. And I truly believe to this day she underestimated that walk. <laughs> but, but that was so romantic to me because that really just impressed upon me how much she loved me, how much she cared for me to be able to even entertain taking that walk. And this was summertime, y'all. Yeah. This wasn't like, you know, fall, early spring where the weather is beautiful. It was, it was hot. You know, it was hot that day. But I wanted him you to know. come home to something special. Yes. I wanted him to... To know how much you love him, and, and yes. how I just want—I yes. just want his day to be special. Yes, she because did. Because he's special to me. And, you and, know? and that just truly blessed me. That was extremely, extremely romantic to me, and, and that's something you know I would never forget, ever forget that she made that sacrifice for just for me. You know, to show me how much she loved me. You know, and God is so gracious. And God is so kind because they were walking back yes. on the way back, yeah. and I we think they're all about, about to so faint. High. Yeah, they were all about to faint. You know, and probably not be taking another step. And lo and behold, God had a business associate of mine come, come riding back. past and spot them and pulled over. And they got in the car and he brought them on the rest of the way to the house. You know, so God is good. You know, God yes, is good all is. the time. He, he blessed them and picked them up and brought them home. You know, and when they told me that story that evening when I got off work, man, I was just I was just blown away. You know, if I did not know before that, that particular day how much she loved me, that's certainly solidified. Oh. 
uh, uh, everything in my, in my mind, in my heart, in my soul to let me know how much she loved me and cared for me and appreciated me, you know. And uh, so, and, so you know, and, and you know, and you might not be, my, my, maybe some people might think that, oh, that's not romantic. But you know what? Yes. One thing he said at the beginning: you got to study your mate. Yes. You got to know just what really makes them yes. tick. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Because romance, when you when you're romancing your your mate and you're making them happy, it, it's it's doing things and 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 making them feel ways or making her feel ways that. You know, nobody else can really make her feel Absolutely. or him feel. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then if you get that part right, Absolutely. the later on part right. gonna really be on yeah, yeah, and pop right. it. You know what I'm saying? Hey y'all, it's Romania here. I'm sorry to pull you away from that broadcast. I just want to bring you up to date on what's going on in the ministry. Guys, every Monday at 7 p.m., BBM International airs a broadcast on Kingdom Purpose TV. You don't want to miss that broadcast. Again, that's every Monday at 7 p.m. Then on Thursdays, guys, we're on the Now Network. BBM International showing up for God's people, okay? Then on Fridays, guys, we're back on Kingdom Purpose TV every Friday at 7 p.m. with the Bountifully Blessed Marriage. I'm telling you, that's a show you don't want to miss. You've got to hear all of what's going on in their marriage and how they use that to encourage and uplift other young couples, okay? So you want to make sure that you get in there and, and, and watch that show. Then on Sundays, guys, my story for his glory every Sunday at 7 p.m. Don't miss it, guys. Be there. And if you want to have your broadcast, whether it's your ministry, whether it's your business, to be on Kingdom Purpose TV, get in contact with Bishop Vernon T. Matthews. The number is 1-888-276-4425. Again, 1-888-276-4425. And guys, if you need someone to help you with your video editing or videography, guys, we have that taken care of too. There's papers, etc. And that number is 757-339-0372. 757-339-0372. Papers, etc. It's not just paper anymore. Now back to the broadcast. So, and, and so, you know, if you're in a... In a place where there's no romance, yes, there's yes. no trying to do the, the just the, the good look. Even it, it don't take money. Not money. Don't, don't, it don't it take doesn't money. take That's money right. to be romantic. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely not. And you can come in and and fix them a piece of toast and put some butter on it yeah, and absolutely. a little bit of jelly. Yeah. Put it on a plate. Absolutely. Take it upstairs. Go outside. Pick, go outside. Pick a dandelion. Put yes, it on the plate and say, baby, this is just for you. Absolutely. You know what yes, I'm saying? Indeed. Yes, indeed. It don't take a whole lot of money, but it's just showing them. Small gestures. It's absolutely. the small yes, things. Yes, that's right. It's the that's small right. things yes. that get you the big prize. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. It's those that's small right. things. That's and right. so many times, you know, people say, I'm just so tired. You know, I work. I can't do this. But then when you expect the big things, it just don't click. Yeah, it doesn't. It, it, it just don't work. Yeah, absolutely. Because it's a press, you know? Yes, yeah. and you don't ever want to be where when the big things happen, there is a press to get you there. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. But if you romance your mate, yes. you romance him throughout the day. Absolutely. Even call them. Yes. Say something sexy on the phone. Say something sweet on the phone. Absolutely. Something to get them all riled up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely, yes. That's yeah. romantic. That's romantic. That's absolutely. romantic. You like that kind of stuff? I love it, honey. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> you and do. I love calling you all the, all the time. You know that. And he does call she, me she, all the time. She, sometimes it frustrates us. He be loving it. Does, it, it don't frustrate It's just romantic. Minutes. It, I think it's romantic. She go to the thing I call him. No, where, where I can, are you, I can where get in the car, get to the end of the driveway, and the phone ring. That's right. That's you know, right. and the phone ring. I want to make sure you got the car safely, honey. That's that's what it is. Oh, is that what it is? That's what oh, it is. oh. I, I want to I want to remind you to check the gas and make sure you got gas in the car before you get too far. You know? Oh. Well, she never stops at the gas station, yo. You know, she never. I, that's she, not. She arrives past ten gas stations. That's not a woman's job to get gas in the car. And won't stop to get gas, you know. But guess what? She knows that every time I got the car, I'm checking the gas, 
And every time I got the car that's a little bit low, then guess where I'm going? I'm going to the gas station and put whatever money I have in there. I might not have, I always have the money to fill it up, but if I got the money to fill it up, I'm filling it up. That way I know when she takes it, I don't have to worry about her being out and there. And that's romantic to me. Gas. And I know it sounds that's crazy, right. but that's that's romantic. He watches my gas tank. He does. Yeah, absolutely. You know, yeah, to make sure. Okay. That you don't have to stop. Huh? I don't have and to stop. Gas. Absolutely. You that's know? Right. That's right. That's, that's sweet right. to me. That's, that's. Romantic to me. Well, thank you, honey. See, I told you, I'm the man. I'm the man. I'm, I'm romantic. Yeah. I'm filled with romance. Yes, you are. In my you own are. way. In yeah, his own way. Unique way. And you, but you know what? I do. You know what? And I wouldn't trade. I know I talk about. And I now I, a little bit of planning. Sometimes I wish that he would just do a little bit more. And I say, but what you want to do? What you want to eat? True, where true. you want to go? That's but. Right. It's those other small things, y'all, sure. <laughs> that makes it just so good to me. Yes, you know what I'm yes, saying? Yes, uh, yes, and, yes. And, and so I just want to say, keep it fresh, y'all. Yep, that's the key. Keep it, keep it, keep that's it right. going. Yes, you know, you know what makes your spouse happy. Yeah. You know what it is. Yes, if it's yes. probably not the same, but you, if you if you you put gas in your wife's car, she might say, and that's you know. Right. <laughs> but to me, it's like wow. This man always got my back. Yes, yes. You know? Yeah, absolutely. It's absolutely. those small things. Yes, it is. Yeah. That makes me say, I can't wait till the kids go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It's the small things. Small things. The right. small things. And they're very important. Absolutely. They're so important. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? To keep it fresh. Yes, yes. And keep it alive. Yeah, absolutely. And keep it going. Keep it going. Yeah, absolutely. Keep it. Uh, just energetic. Yeah, energetic. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. All, all of the above. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Absolutely, y'all. And it's, it's, it takes it takes effort. It takes uh, 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 commitment. You know, it, it takes being attentive to your spouse. And it actually takes know. sacrifice. And, it's, and it takes an absolute great word. It takes sacrifice, yeah. you know, because if we don't make a commitment to do these things or sacrifice to do these things, then guess what? Then the marriage becomes, you know, becomes boring. It becomes stale. It becomes stagnant. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and, and you everything know becomes stale and stagnant. You know what I mean? Absolute, everything. Absolute, everything. Yes. Everything. everything. And we don't want everything to be stale and stagnant. No, you, you know? don't. We want all thing you want stagnant, but I'm stale in your house is the bread. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Because we didn't eat it in the appropriate time time frame. Exactly. Well, that's true. That's true. That's, that's right. true. Yes, indeed. But you know, romance is important. Uh, you know, men, I want you to understand that it, it is important. You know, find out what your what your wife likes, your honey likes, you know, and do those small things, like my honey said earlier. And we've always believed that, it, you know, uh, about marriage. It doesn't take a whole lot of money. You know, it, it, it doesn't. You know, it's just a, it's a sacrifice. You know, that's really what it takes to take the time to do these small things. You know, uh, there's so many things that we can do that, that you know, doesn't, doesn't even cost uh, money. You know, just ride to the you know, to the mall and walk around. I just around love riding around with him. You know, just, it's just you know, fun. I love just riding at, around. Looking at homes or something, dreaming, you know. Riding around looking at maybe a dream car, hitting car lots to get out and walk around looking at cars. Or, you know, if you're a beach lover, riding to the ocean front or somewhere. Just, you know, riding up and down the boardwalk or walking to the beach. And it's things like that. You know, things don't cost me. I might take a little gas, you know, but other than that, it, it doesn't take a whole lot of money. You, you do these things, you know. And most of our wives are not looking for that. You know, they're just looking for us to show them how much we love them, how how much we care about yeah. them, how, how how much we are attentive to you know their my desires needs. and their my, needs. My needs. Absolutely, you yes. Know? And uh, <clears throat> excuse me. And one big thing too, baby, I wanted to bring out is this: your words. Yes. Your words yes. that you say to your spouse. Yes, absolutely. It, you know, absolutely. it makes a big difference. Major difference. Major yes. difference. Yes. It, I don't care what you do, romantic. Your words, if it's, if your words are not right absolutely. to your spouse, yes. it will it can kill everything. Everything. One yes. thing we yes. always say: you can take a hammer yes. and nail a nail in the wall. That's right. You can pull that nail out. Yes. But that hole is still yeah, yeah. there. That's right. Yes. yes and that's yes. those words that you put inside of them that's, that, that have penetrated their hearts. Yeah, and so when you start to be romantic, it just don't have no effect. Yes. You know, absolutely. when you're waiting for the big thing, it's hard to get it together because yes. those words <coughs> have penetrated the relationship. Yes. So watch your words, watch your words. with yes. your spouse. Amen. Absolutely. Somebody asked the other day, he was watching something on TV. And they said, you mean to tell me that you didn't have a cuss your husband out? 
before salvation or, first, or he cussed you out. My husband in 40 years has never cussed at me. And mm -hmm. we won't say it over for that over years. That's Believe right. me. Yeah, he has never cussed at me. Never. Amen. Not the small D words or nothing. Nothing. And I have never, yeah. ever cursed at him. Yes. And never. Absolutely. Now we might have screamed at you like, you know, screaming at you like, who are you talking to? Or that's something right. like that. That's right. But curse words, <laughs> that's one thing that we all, from day one, we watched. Yes, yes. Watch your words. Watch your words. Because Absolutely. I don't care what happens, yes. that hole will always yes. be there. And your words have weight. Your, your words, words have, have power. weight. Absolutely. That's right. They carry Absolutely. weight. They carry Especially weight. Especially to your spouse. To your spouse. Absolutely. Because they look to you to build them up. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. to build them up. Build them up. That's but right. when your words tear them down, yeah, it's yeah. not only it's not only tearing them down, it's tearing the relationship, the relationship down. The it's tearing down. it's yes. tearing the romance down. Everything. It's tearing yes. down the house. Yes, absolutely. It's tearing down absolutely. the house. Yes, so y'all just want to tell you on tonight. Yes. yes. Don't let the romance die y'all. That's right. That's Study right. your spouse. Yes. Find yes. out what he likes. Absolutely. Find absolutely. out what she likes. That's right. Stoke them fires. That's yes. Right. yes. Keep it hot. Yes, yes, Keep it hot. Right now it's thundering. Yes. And it's lightning outside. Y'all, yes. yeah, I know you probably heard the thunder. And all my mind is like, well, I can't say. <laughs> okay? I can't say. But y'all don't Taking get... advantage of the stormy, rainy night. <laughs> and you know why? Because he romances me all day long. Yeah, all day yes, long. Yes, and anybody right. that knows us know that we're telling the truth. My kids are famous for saying, ooh, y'all gross me out. Please oh, yeah, stop. Yeah. You know? But... He does, and yes. I try my best to romance him she all does. day you, you do, honey. Yeah. Uh -huh. yes, you do. So with that being said, yes. don't forget, don't forget to, romance to romance your spouse. Your spouse. Keep it hot. Keep it hot. Stoke those fires. Yes, right. we say stoke those fires. Stoke those fires. Stoke That's those right. fires. That's right. You know, That's right. keep the flames going, y'all. Keep the flames going. And remember, it's crucial. It's yes. crucial, y'all. Yes, it is. Yes, it it is. yes, it is. And so on tonight, we just want to say, remember yes. our motto. Yes, and our motto is the architectural design for marriage is made in heaven, but the work, work is, is done, done right here. here. So keep it hot. Keep and it keep up. it what? Keep it. What? Stoking. Keep it stoking. Soak those fires. Yes, soak those fires. <laughs> and keep it out. And remember, romance yes. is so important. Important, yes. Good night, everybody. Good night. Love, Love you. Love you. next time. Here they come. <laughs> All those papers. I wonder what they need. Papers are everywhere. But that's okay. Because we got papers that sell. Hmm. Whatever the need, we're here to please. Don't worry about it. We got that covered too. <laughs> we have video flyers. We can meet and exceed all your marketing needs. Hmm. Yep, we're taking care of that too. Papers, etc. Huh. So much more than just paper. <laughs> so why don't you do this? Pick up the phone. Call 757-339-0372. Papers, etc. Not just papers.